there are forces that want to keep us apart us meaning all the Africans born on the continent and all of us born outside so the Western world they show you different pictures of Africa they make it very hard for us to come it's very expensive for you to come you need visa you need yellow fever you need this, this land this is all that we have left both the Africans born in Africa and us Africans that are born outside this is all that we have good afternoon how are you fine so he wants to ask how was the feeling how was the class oh the excitement yeah it was nice the vibes was high lots of energy even when you feel tired and you're out of breath the energy will carry you to the class. It was a lot of fun. You don't feel like you're working out. It was like a party. <laughs> oh, it looks like a party. Hey. So you can see that, right? So can, that is came to party. You. Oh, Our wow. workout is always a party because wow. we give you the much vibes, you know? We always push you to get there, it's true. right? So join us. What are you waiting for? Uh, will you recommend this to African-Americans out there? Absolutely, yes, absolutely. And also it helps like when you're in the parties, like the real parties or, you know, enjoyment, you can use some of the moves from the class inside the party. So it's good to learn the, you know, some traditional African, West African movements mixed with the contemporary ones. And also to get a good workout, get your heart pumping. So all around is good. If you have a word or a message for African American, what would that message mm, be? Come back home come home and connect even when i'm dancing in there i feel something in my heart you know and i feel i feel grateful to be home wow mm -hmm. have you ever visited or site in ghana have yes you? i live here so i did that apart already oh for yeah, how many years have you lived here i did more than one year more than one year yes please. wow uh -huh. that is amazing thank and you, how is, how is, thank you. how's thank the you. feeling oh it's good i've learned a lot when you come you have to keep an open mind you know it's not the way maybe where you come from things could be different but if you have patience and you come with an open heart that you want to be here you'll learn a lot don't come and talk about oh where i'm from it's like this it's okay. like that you are here you're home so come to learn at the same time come to nation build right if you have that in your heart you will be able to overcome the challenges much easier wow. you get frustrated but you have to have that conviction in your heart first wow that is so amazing that is so powerful when you were coming what did you get to know out there about african ghana uh, for me personally as um someone from the diaspora you know i was always raised that no matter what you are an african you know so don't let them lie to you don't let you know don't be misled but always remember that you are an african so i knew that i would have to come back on the continent and touch my feet to the soil one day so then when I saw like it was a trend, people coming, visiting and moving, I saw that it may be a lot easier than I expected. You know, because when you're in the Western world, they show you different pictures of Africa. They make it very hard for us to come. It's very expensive for you to come. You need visa, you need yellow fever, you need this, you need that, you know. And then they only show you the bad parts. If you have a message for Ghanaians, uh -huh. what would that message be? Yeah, my message for Ghanaians would be, please have patient, patience with, with us coming from the diaspora. You know, we don't know. We don't know customs. We don't know the culture. We don't know tradition. We really truly don't even know our full entire history. But we do know that we are Africans. So we've chosen Ghana to be our home. So please have some patience with us. At the same time, we will do the same. We want to come, we want to learn about all of our missing, missing history. And at the same time, we were bringing what we have carried and we have developed from the Western uh, society or wherever we are coming from. So let's come together, right? Let's, let's nation build. We have people here that are not among us. They are here, they are among us, but they are not among us. And, you know, if we stick together, and if we can figure out how to, you know, look past the differences, we can really take ownership of what belongs to us. This land, this is all that we have left. 
both the Africans born in Africa and us Africans that are born outside. This is all that we have. Wow. Mm -hmm. That is very, very deep. As you have heard, Charlie, mm -hmm. that is all we had. Like, Charlie, we don't have anything mm -hmm. else. You understand? So we have to make it possible to understand ourselves, each mm -hmm. other, and all that. Do you think African can unite us and where we can say um, United States is one state? I mean, I would say anything is possible. Do we have obstacles in front of us? Yes, we do. Because first, we have to identify that there are forces outside that want to keep us divided. We have to identify that, we have to acknowledge that. Not identify it, but we need, we need to acknowledge that. There are forces that want to keep us apart. Us, meaning all the Africans born on the continent and all of us born outside. So when we acknowledge that, then I think it will be easier to eliminate all of the noise that are trying to keep us separate by language, by tribe, by birthplace, and, and whatever else. It's possible. Is it easy? No, but it's possible. Nobody's more powerful than us. All that we have been through, all that we have been through over hundreds of years, and we are still here, we are still strong. No other race on this planet have been through what we've been through as a collective and stand how we stand. So it's possible. It is possible. Mm -hmm. And we have to make it possible. Mm, that's yeah, what I'm saying. Yes. That is it. It is what it is. We have to make it possible. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like, like you're not part of us? I personally don't feel like that. However, I could understand how other diasporans could feel like that. Um, I understand that a lot of people may be here, um, Ghanaians, they may be not ed educated to know that we are related. So that's part of it, right? That's part of some of the, the things that I said we have to acknowledge. Because the same thing as us diasporans on the outside, we are experiencing racism and discrimination and all other type of you know, hindrance for us to move forward and progress. Africans here have gone through colonization and, you know, these European people have done a great job to damage the minds of our people so that when we come home, they don't recognize us. When we come home, they want to divide. So, me personally, I don't, but that's because I've accepted in my heart that I'm an African regardless of what anybody say. Come tell me different and I'll tell you different. But at the same time, it's there. It's true. There are some people that maybe they don't see us as that. They don't see us as Africans. And that's what it is thank you so much for joining epic it was and like and share to those amazing videos please do you have any social media handle yes on instagram you can follow my salon It's the goddess chamber that's t-h-e-g-o-d-d-e-s-s chamber c-h-a-m-b-e-r and g-h for ghana in fact i'm going to make a promise on this channel i don't i normally don't do it though but i'm going to promise that i'm going to make sure to come to your saloon and interview you again me in the video with you uh -huh. but here in case i'm not in the video with you but i'm the one interview you as well yes. but it's all the same but we would make it possible yeah yeah thank you mm. eh? <laughs> 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 okay <laughs>